comes through and now the wings are equal favourites, Real Dinkum and Denise Nimbus. So it is a very open race. This Aussie Big Boy and Black Chetnik are the other chances. Good evening to Russell Veach on 2KY. So all aboard for this first race now at Dapto. Behind the boxes, or beside the boxes I should say, for race number one, about to be called over. It uh, is quite a mild night here at uh, Dapto, not too chilly. So uh, if you're in the area, get down because it'll be a very, very interesting program tonight. Now they're behind the start. About to be called up for the first, Bet Buster's Stake. Real Dinkum will go into one, Aussie Big Boy three. Black uh, Chetnik five and Andrast seven. Best line two, Frankie four, dead about six, and Denise Nimbus eight. Last look at the board, and it's four dollars for the pink now. Denise uh, Nimbus for Wally Ludiger. Set to run, set for the first. Stand by and racing. Denise Nimbus from the outside away fairly jumping quickly. Dare to bounce and on the inside was Frankie as they reach the first corner. Frankie tries to get underneath there to bounce. They duel. A length in front of Denise Nimbus. Two further back. Black Chechnik. They put up ten links then on Andrast going past it. Real Dinkum. And then came Best Line second last from Aussie Big Boy. Off the back. Frankie takes the lead and races clear. Five links in front of Black Chechnik followed by Denise Nimbus but in the running. Frankie well clear and the Blues got the first one. Frankie by four black Chechnik. Photo third, possibly Denise Nimbus from Real Dinkum, not much in it. Then best line back behind the man Drast, the last two Aussie big boy and dare to bounce uh, at the back of the field after beginning well. Number four, Frankie at four dollars and two thirty takes the opener. Black Chechnik second at two dollars eighty and a photo third between the wings, Real Dinkum and Denise Nimbus. Denise Nimbus uh, in front into the straight, but uh, Real Dinkum has uh, put in a dive late and having a look at the freeze frame possibly uh, the pink but there's not much in it four five and a photo for frankie by token prince out of uh, totty taylor that's its first win from five starts it had been placed three times before tonight and it's been too good at around a quote of four dollars in the first race number four frankie by token prince out of totty taylor for julie fletcher we'll uh, have the numbers in a moment i can tell you the time was 30 and 12 30 and 12 the official time splits of 5 36 and 17 and 40 and here are the numbers it's 4 5 8 and 1 4 5 8 and 1 second going to number 5 black chetnik for tony davis third to number 8 denise nimbus swally ludica and fourth going to number 1 real dinkum robert jackson the owner trainer 4 5 8 and 1 fifth to 2 sixth to 6 in 30 and 12 by four lengths officially in 30 and 12. The nine special hand gets the start in this from box five. Coming up, pit crew one, Cindy's Rebel three, special hand in five, Dr. Goddard seven. I'll be followed up by Russian Girl two, Kura Queen Lee four, Joe Sloy six, and Solo Mechanic eight. Green lights on, set to run, bunny rolls, pit crew at 140 here. They're ready. Racing, pit crew from the inside away okay. Joining it early as Cindy's Rebel with Kura Queen Lee and out deeper Dr. Goddard crunching over as they reach the first corner. Right out the back now, Solo Mechanic to the back. Dr. Goddard leads by two. Pit crew second, third was Kura Queen Lee and they've put up ten links on special hand. Then on the outside, Solo Mechanic, Cindy's Rebel, Russian Girl and last of all is Joe Sloy to the corner. A match in two, Dr. Goddard by a length. Pit crew rails underneath it though. The favourite pit crew takes the lead from Dr. Goddard who kicks again and it's close. Pit crew or Dr. Goddard, three links, Kura Queen Lee third, then a wall for fourth. Back behind them, Cindy's Rebel with also solo mechanic, Russian girl, Joe Sloy and special hand. Pretty close. Pit crew on the inside diving at Dr. Goddard who wasn't done with. They've hit the line. Pretty tight. Pretty tight. 5.31 the first split. 17 and 20 off the back. And the overall run about to come through at 30.05. 30.05. It's a photo with four Kura Queen Lee in third. The should pay for it $3.50 New South. And uh, there it is. Uh, a dead heat. Money back there for pit crew. Dr. Goddard, they couldn't split them. Kura Queen Lee has run third. Sorry to bring those to you just a little bit late, but anyway, race three. Well for this third race. Green lights on. Last look at the board, real speed at 260. It's over the 600. Stand by. 
Ready to go at Dapdo. Racing Rilla Speed from one jump well. Landed in front by a length and a half to Tomarong Shark. And on the outside, Summer Bliss from on the rail, Tadmore Gunlaw. They gap to win some image, followed by Dawn Glory, Bally Magic and Slick Dingarn. Swinging out of the straight and the leader is Rilla Speed. Favourite leads by four lengths now. Second, Summer Bliss and third, Tomarong Shark. A length and a half away, Tadmore Gunlaw from Winsome Image, Dawn Glory. Second last, Bally Magic and Slick Dingarn last. Off the back, Rilla Speed in front by four, Summer Bliss. Two lengths away. Tomarong Shark, Tadmore Gunlaw improving but in the straight, Rilla Speed well clear and Rilla Speed's got a shot to bits, one by four length, Summer Bliss, Tadmore Gunlaw third, followed by Winsome Image and Tomarong Shark, a gap to Bally Magic towards the rear of the field then was Slick Dingarn, it was one of the last ones uh, to pull up in the race with the Dawn Glory as well Number one, Rilla Speed, 260 and 160 eight, Summer Bliss at 140 and three Tadmore Gunlaw, 190 Rilla Speed first by proper tears out of Dashing Desiree. That's uh, eight wins now from 58, six starts. It's third win here at Dapto. Over the 600 metres in tonight's Tom Minter Memorial. 35 and 45 the overall run. 35 and 45. 10, 21 the split. 22, 27. 35 and 45. So too good the favourite in the race. Jumping in front and staying there. 183 and fail has firmed some five and a half points into 770. Adela Bale jumping from box one. It's just about set to run. Race number four at Dapdo. Quiet at number six into favourite. In fact, the eight bash, backlash jack now back into 340 holds the call. Set to run. Ready and racing. Backlash Jack on the outside away fairly. Adela Bale sprung out, leads by two lengths, singing Silby. And around the outside is Backlash Jack as they swing to the back. Adela Bale two lengths. Second Backlash Jack, third the inside, singing Silby. Four lengths away, quieter. And Maltese Hotshot from Olympic Ringo. And three lengths to Lucky's Hope. Off the back section, Adela Bale a length, stalking at Backlash Jack a length and a half, singing Silby. Up to the corner, reserve swings in front. Adela Bale from Backlash Jack, singing Silby. Adela Bale in front, holds them and one. Adela Bale from Singing Silby, photo third Maltese, hot shot backlash jack, a gap to quieter, and they were followed by Lucky's Hope, and it was one of the last ones to finish with Olympic Ringo. Adela Bale at $7.160, swung for home about a length and a half in front. Backlash jack was its pursuer with Singing Silby and late Maltese hot shot, but Adela Bale's been too strong. Now for second, it's pretty tight between the five and the seven, possibly the yellow and Backlash Jack will miss out on a place here, you would think. The time up at 30 and 17. 30 and 17, the race take. Tonight. First leg of the uh, treble on Unitab tonight as they've been treated, but was OK. Well, of course, the Greyhound would have had drugs in his system mm. and things like that, so he couldn't have run even if he didn't have the stitches. But it's a, one of those things in racing. It happens yep. in all three codes. But number six here, Arvo's Jr., I think the race will be made here for him tonight. Um, he's class above them, going for his ninth win from nine starts to beat eight, five and seven. Yeah, $2 now, uh, or $1.80 on uh, Sky Screen. That might just drift out. There we go, at the $2. Skipper Rippers at five fifty is one that's tightened up. 440 Tears of Jupiter. The McKenna Memorial 2003 running, moving up. Will Arbos Jr. continue on his winning way? Here's Ron Hawkswell. And the stars are all boxed and ready to go. They're racing and beginning pretty fast on the outside as Tears of Jupiter away quickly, Perfect Heart now, and Perfect Heart has run to the lead settling down over Tears of Jupiter two lengths to favour Arvo's Jr. up to third they'll get back on the field there, Skipper Rip going right out to the tail there, with Okarasti a lap to go and Perfect Heart as the leader Arvo's Jr. right after it on the outside they were followed for the back by Tears of Jupiter back on the inside then came Drano about 8 or 10 lengths away then Executive Speed followed by Soul My Soul and then came Okarasti, but down the back straight and Arvo's Jr. the favourite but a dash to the lead coming off the back straight. And Arvo's goes clear in the McKenna Memorial. Two or three to perfect heart. Well back tears of Jim and Adrano into the straight. Arvo's junior, nine out of nine out of Sandown and wins the big final by about four lengths to perfect heart second and third Drano. Then tears of Jim and followed by soul by soul behind them. Then came executive speed. Akarasti and tailing out would have been Skipper Rip, who obviously went a miss in the run. Six Arvo's junior at around 180. And $1.40 time will be interesting. 6.20, And the overall time we'll have in a moment. 6.54, 42.21 is a great run. 42.21, 41.80 is the record total denial. But that's a fabulous performance and a feature final by Arvo's Jr. 
and 42-21 the time. Six Arbos Junior, nine out of nine here at Sandown, taking the big McKenna Memorial final tonight. The winner by Arbos Express from Arbos Alarm. Carl. Right, yep, sweet shot, $1.40. It's the favourite, so let's go now for race five, Adapto. It's at the eight starts for four wins and two minors. Mark Hardy, the owner-trainer, racing very, very well at the moment. Last start winner here by eight and three quarters in 29 and 73. 770 for Karina Cara, who's been racing over the dash distances, the 280 at Wentworth Park, and 920 for both single malt and divorce remorse. We've had uh, quite a shower between races here at Dapdo, and uh, at this stage, uh, light rain still uh, sweeping across the course. Now they're about to be called up. Dawn's Whisper will go into one. Three is vacant, five divorce remorse, seven Karina Cara, quality gift in two single malt four, Dr Shirley six and sweet shot eight. Moving in, last look at the board, sweet shot is at 150. And they're set to run, green lights on. Fifth at Dapdo, the Dapdo Lees Club stake, they're set, ready. Racing, sweet shot on the outside away. Well, beginning quickly was Dr. Shirley as they go to the post. Dr. Shirley, a half sweet shot who's sweeping over. Into third on the inside, Karina Cara, two and a half quality gift, improving divorce from Orse. Second last, single Molten Dawn's Whisper last, but taking the lead was sweet shot down the back and kicked away. Three lengths in front of Karina Cara, Dr. Shirley, divorce from Orse, then single Molt, quality gift, and also Dawn's Whisper into the straight, though. Sweet shot on the bunny, leads by three lengths, Karina Cara, sweet shot, too good. Karina Cara second, Divorce Remorse third, Single Malt was fourth, a gap to Dr Shirley second last quality gift and Dawn's Whisper was last to finish. Sweet shot at 160, 160 too good. Number eight sweet shot from seven Karina Cara and five Divorce Remorse. It's a good run too, 29 and 87, clearly the best so far. 29 and 87, number eight sweet shot the winner. As we uh, await numbers on race number five, Sweet Shot has had nine starts for five wins now and two minors by Hot Shot out of Sweet Caress, owned and trained by uh, Mark Hardy. Eight, seven, five and four the numbers. Eight, seven, five and four. Second going to Karina Cara. And third going to number five, Divorce Remorse. Eight, seven, five and four. Next race, Adapto race number is tonight. Second pick is Penny Dancer. We've got Inspect Carroll at 680 and firming in two and a half points is the Czech Mystery Emma, who qualified in going 30 and 14. Go. Racing Yellow Jewel from the outside began quickly. It's coming over. Penny Dancer and Coconut Cola driving up underneath it. Penny Dancer on the first corner leads out the back in trouble. Summer Punky into the back. Penny Dancer two lengths. Mystery Emma second, third on the inside as they go to the back is Yellow Jewel. Then came in Spec Carol Coconut Cola. Further back, White Tornado second last. Shane's Venture and Summer Punky to the corner. Penny Dancer in front by two to Mystery Emma. The only danger in the straight. Penny Dancer by a length. Mystery Emma trying to pick it up. It won't. Penny Dancer wins from Mystery Emma and third was White Tornado. They were followed by Coconut Cola, Summer Punky and then Shane's Venture and uh, exchanging telephone numbers at the rear inspect Carol and Yellow Jewel. Penny Dancer, 6.30 and 1.70. Mystery Emma second, 1.90 and White Tornado, 3.40. 3.2 and 5 in 29 and 89. 29 and 89. 17.15 the middle split. And uh, the overall time, 29 and 89 in the Bet Busters final. Number three, the winner, 325. The first group of bitches go in, second group go in, 40,000 to the winner. Let's go to Ron Hawkswell for the Laurels final, 2003. Up in five for Yana Bale, seven. Knockabout Nova, Boomer Pearl. Leprechaun Yap and Starlight, the green light is there and they're set to go, the Laurels final. Ready? They're racing, Dance Portrait slow to begin away fast. Knockabout Nova on the inside's going to go through and lead. Knockabout Nova led, heck you bar. Getting through on the inside is Dance Portrait now. Out of the straight and Knockabout Nova led. In second placing, Dance Portrait. Two lengths away to Starlight up to third. They were followed by heck you bar. Then Leprechaun up followed by Boomer Pearl. Fiona Bale and two or three delicious drop off the back straight. Dance Portrait's taken the lead. Heck you bar, the inside running on strongly as Leprechaun Yap coming with a great run now. Leprechaun Yap outside, Dance Portrait. Dance Portrait hangs 
brings on. It's a tight one. It stands Porter at all. Leprechaun Yamma over the line ahead of Hecuba. They were followed then by Delicious Drop and then came Starlight. And out near the tail of the field, Fiona Vale and Boomer Pearl. A screamer of a finish to the Laurels final. Dance Portrait and Leprechaun Yap. Heads up, heads down. Leprechaun Yap the outside and Dance Portrait. And third placing will go to Hecuba. Oh, this is a tight one. We stand by for the number one's got it. One's last to Dance Portrait takes the Laurels final. Number one, Dance Portrait's the winner. Six Leprechaun Yap second. Three Hecuba third. One, six and three. Fourth and number two, knock them out and over, one, six and three. Dan Aaron's Road at $6.20. About to be called up. In fact, moving in well now. Five, seven and eight, the scratchings in this. Rarely worry into five, Mystique Charm seven. Green lights on, $2 for Land Ahoy. Set to run. Ready, racing Land Ahoy away well from four, matching it early as Coos Bar Wish and their three links in front of Curran's Road and Mystique Charm out of the straight and the leader is Land Ahoy, favourite gets away by three links, Coos Bar Wish and third is Baby Phoebe, four links, Curran's Road, then came Really Worry, second last Mystique Charm and last Jesse Lauren, off the back it's Land Ahoy, in front by seven extends its break, railing Baby Phoebe to second from Coos Bar Wish and Really Worry and you don't have to worry if you're on Land Ahoy, it's going to bolt in. Land Ahoy won well. Second baby, Phoebe. Third, Rarely Worry, followed by Coosba Wish. Third last in the race, Mystique Charm from Jesse Lauren, and the last one to finish, Karen's Road. OK, odds on favourite there. Land Ahoy at $1.90 and $1.70. As we return right now with the winning connections at the big one, the Laurels with Andrew right now. Yes, Chris Hulse is joining us, partner of Linda Britton, celebrating his 40th birthday today. You're all the way across uh, from the Nullarbor from the west, but you'll have celebrations tonight, Chris. Yeah, it's been a big week. Uh, celebrating my 40th uh, all week, and uh, that just tops it off. That's brilliant. Yeah, no. Well, got the lead. Go well, halfway down the back, uh, it was pretty close. It was about five or six. You could have thrown a rug over, basically, but just held on in the straight. Yeah, she's, she hasn't used the she hasn't used the red box the last couple of weeks. It was probably the first two times she's had the red box, and uh, she normally begins a lot better than that. So to see a bar up underneath the the, the check, it was really good. And uh, oh, until you come off the back on the line, is even worse. I yeah. thought it was hard. It was a nose, the only margin. This greyhound is owned in Victoria. Yeah, no, Paul Westerveld uh, uh, had Star Witch and everything. He owned it. He sent it over to us when she was uh, a maiden, and um, now she's gone along really nice and. Uh, to thank Paul for letting us have a go over there. It's been, real, uh, been a lot of fun. And has uh, Linda got the Sapphire Classic in mind later in the year? Because if you come back and win it, you get an extra 10000 Well, if she's still going well, then I dare say we'll be back, yeah. Uh, if you've got another bitch to go along with her, it's good, yeah. yeah. Good luck to you, mate. Well done, Chris. Chris Hulse joining us, uh, the co-trainer of Dance Portrait, the winner of the Laurels, though, um, well, it was desperately close to the line there. Nick obviously winning by a nose, but it's got there. The uh, WA trained and Victorian owned dance portrait. Yeah, well done. Uh, it was a great performance, wasn't it? And now, uh, just looking at uh, you there with me, Andrew. Sorry, Nick. Yeah, I'm just saying that Ronnie's uh, Ronnie's still alive there in the quaddy, isn't he? He tipped uh, Arvo's Junior one out there in race five, and dance portrait there is one of the three selections. So he's still alive in the quaddy. He's got two legs up. Yes, he's got. Uh, yeah, and he's got the. Um... He's got that pink uh, in the next Jimmy Neutron. Hopefully it'll get home for us. Yeah, and then he's one out with the pink in the last. Is that right? No, no, we're into the third leg. Oh, sorry, mate. Yeah. Uh, let me have a look here. No, you got... Uh, can we come back to this? Yeah, we'll come back to it, mate. Sorry. I've got numbers and... Been knocked out, Nick. Ferguson Bale put us out in the second leg. I'm sorry, it did too. Yeah, that's yep. right. Second leg. I've got the legs all mixed up here, mate. My fault. Sorry about that. That's all right. <laughs> it's one all. OK, let's go to Angle Park for race eight. Goes O Sam, even money favourite for this, uh, Nick. The Great Southern Hotel Berry Trophy over 508 metres, and it's goes O Sam out to 210. It's won four of its past uh, five. It's at the 31 starts for 12 wins and four minor placings, racing in tip-top form at the moment. Carol and Rinky, the trainer of Gozo. Sam, of course, of the others, we've got $4 for Q2 Lady. It's won three of its past five, eight from 31 overall and has a 50% uh, win strike rate here at the track. 12 starts for six wins. It's best importantly from this box, 29 and 85. And then you're looking out to $6 for number two to Miki, who's having its first look around Dapto, but it has won 11 from 37. Beside the boxes for race number eight, Great Southern Hotel Berry Trophy. Quite a, a good crowd in attendance here at uh, Dapdo tonight and uh, 
quite a large crowd have decided to join us down in front of us here in the grandstand. They're having a good uh, time. You can probably hear. Don't forget the big uh, Dapto Leagues Club Maiden coming up. We're going to have the non-tab Twilight Heats on Thursday, the 4th of September. The semi-finals on Thursday, the 11th of September. And the big final on Thursday, the 18th of September. That's for the Dapto Leagues Club Maiden. And the noms close uh, Friday, the 29th of August. Being positioned for race number eight. Goes though Sam at $2.10. Getting set well. 2.10 goes though Sam. $4 Kutu Lady. 5.80 to Miki. And Franklin Jess at 8.40. Green light. Bunny rolls. Race number eight. Set to jump. Ready. Racing on the outside goes though Sam away fairly. The inside Kutu Lady began fast. Lands a length and a half in front of Tamiki as they drive into the first turn. Railing hard as Franklin Jess improving towards the centre. Dare to jump and around the outside goes though Sam. Kutu Lady raced away four lengths. Tamikli, Frankie Jess. And they were followed by Gozo Sam back behind them. Dare to jump. The outside dearly devoted. Shady Man and last Shakaya start of the corner. Kutu Lady in front. Leads back to the inside. Franklin Jess with Tamiki. Franklin Jess goes home better. Franklin Jess from Kutu Lady and also Tamiki. Back behind them goes O Sam. Then Shady Man, dearly devoted, dare to jump and Shakaya Star. Franklin Jess too good at 9.20 and $2 Kutu Lady and Tamiki in a photo for the miners. The red will get that. It'll be 3-1 and 2. 3-1 and 2 with Gozo Zam prominent for fourth. 18th. Noms close Friday the 29th of August that Dapto Leagues club maiden over the 508 one of the big races run here every year just about all in classy model at three dollars green lights on race number nine out of Dapto sets racing classy model away fairly jumping well RJ's cheater on the inside love to dance is coming over with Mick Dan as they reach the first corner trying to get over love to dance did so but going past it Mick Dan leads two lengths love to dance three lengths RJ's cheater classy model then came Juz McShadow further back torpedoes best with Brad's mistress and last of all another lesson getting away to the corner was Mick Dan ten lengths in front from in second placing love to dance Mick Dan going well though from love to dance in the running Mick Dan getting a bit tired but scores well Second love to dance, third classy model, and then came Torpedo's best, Juz McShadow towards the rear, Brad's mistress, another lesson, and RJ's cheetah. Mick Dan doing it well, 480 and 140, over love to dance and classy model. 480, 140, 190 and 160. Mick Dan by head honcho out of Arctic Affair. That's 12 starts now for four wins and four minor placings, having its first start at Dapto. 717 off the back. And uh, the overall run about to come through, 30 and 27. 30 and 27 on race number nine. Eight, seven, two and five, the completed numbers. Eight, seven, two and five. Mick Dan from Love to Dance. Classy model and torpedoes best. Second pick in at 460, number six, Dr. Carey. Said the four starts for a win and two minor placings. And Ruby Red Lips at $5.20 a Moss. Green lights on. Good luck with your selections in the last. They're ready. Set. Racing Hot Finance on the inside away only fairly. Ruby Red Lips began fast with Dr. Carey on the outside and closed the deal joining in as they reach the first corner. Gliding Hawk back to last into the back section. Ruby Red Lips just in front with Dr. Carey challenging. Two lengths away to Hot Finance closing on the outside from Alice Long. A long gap to Ebony Token for the back Gliding Hawk and also closed the deal. They approached the turn. Dr. Carey took it up around the turn. Kicked away about four lengths in front of Ruby Red Lips and Hot Finance and Dr. Carey races away to win it from Ruby Red Lips, Hot Finance and Alice Long. Then came Ebony Token and about ten lengths away to the last two. Gliding Hawk and closed the deal in sweeping rain here at Dapto. Dr. Carey at 4.10 and 3.10. Ruby Red Lips second. And these numbers will come up pretty quickly. 30.06 the time for the 508 metres in the last. 5.27 the first split. 17.42 and a 12.64 the run home time. Last of the night.